So. Oh my. J'aurais besoin d'upgrade, donc c'est dommage. Pim pom 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 You feel what's up? <laughs> nice track. <laughs> they got zoom. My technique, qui est déjà un projectile. Oh, c'est ça que tu veux dire? Oh, c'est ça que tu veux dire? Ah. Mais là, je donne plus de coups sur moi. Mmh. Mmh. 
Someone's been on that fire. Ba -da -da. Yo, je pati for that. Oh, wow. Yeah, I know what you saw. I would do. Mm-hmm. Love and loss. Come on, sit slowly. Wow! Je vois que le damage va être sérieux. Je le vois. Je le sais. Tu viens de commencer à shake, mon ami. Money. C'est vrai que je suis déjà powerful. Hey, hey, hey! Vous noyez, mesdames. Dix pour cent pendant trois, j'ai pas perdu une vie. Cinquante pour cent de dégâts. Par derrière, I don't do that no more. Un petit boss. Ok. J'ai même pas remarqué que je m'étais rendu là. Saloperie. Elles viennent me parler. Ok. Votre appel de ces projectiles chercheurs capable de charmer un ennemi. Durée du charme 6. Bonus de la jose. Plein dégâts. Damage. Charmé. Pendant un coup restant, la victime se bat pour vous avec une force et une vitesse accrue. Mmh. Bon, ça fait partie des choix qui me sont prédestinés. Mais si je peux le vendre, je le vends. C'est pas bon ça. Yo daddy, tu me laisses tranquille? Deux secondes. C'est comme tu me fatigues, daddy. Back. 
Thomas Atreides are upon you unmistakably. Bella shall be curious to see me at her command over one sense of her own. She shall have any effect beneath the earth. And not chaos, chaos and chaos, everything. That's who I think it is. Hey, oh, nice. Sisyphus, have you had the. Tisiphone? Why, yes, I have, in fact, Prince said. She's visited on multiple occasions, truth be told. So she's back, is she? She is. Although I think she's back to deal with me. I'll have to keep her plenty busy just in case. Appreciated, Prince. Of all the Fury sisters, she's the one I would least care to see. But if she does so far, you know, that's how it goes. Certainly, Highness. Oh, thank you. I'm glad that wasn't me. Sir. <laughs> You've met your distant relatives by now. We don't all share the same demeanor nor see eye to eye. Though all of us, I think, wish you the best. Votre technique est plus puissante et peut effectuer un renvoi. Oh! Je suis en train de tester le voice recorder pour voir si ça peut enregistrer mes messages. What? Hein? J'ai dit une phrase et le voice recorder a écrit ma phrase. Mais j'arrive pas à le refaire.
Carol. Yo, ils vont laisser ma technique. Elle m'a appelé Red Blood. qui va me renvoyer oh madame Elle m'énerve, elle m'énerve. En plus, j'ai un bon run là, là, elle vient de blow ma vie. Oh. 
Enfin. Puis dès que j'ai réglé le bout, je m'en vais en chercher un autre. Eh ben, Shit. Bonne chance à tous. Wow, déjà. Quoi Quoi Qu'est-ce que... You nasty Je veux pas ton shit. Un autre nectar pour de vrai. C'est donc tranquille, donc, 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 donc. Hey. Trois hits. Ah non Dans ma la vie, please Restore 56. Forme grenade ou sac de money? C'est quoi ça, I wonder? C'est money.
for free. Get back in the magma and no one gets hurt. Exactement. Quel coup t'as besoin de toi dans ta vie? Quoi il parle lui okay, Ils sont déjà prêts Ah oh, ouais That's perfect Dionysus ou Dédal? Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Dédal. Pas de projectiles, ça? Il perd juste trop de vie ici. My God, it's for sure. Ok, 
Em que esse papel? My God, okay. God's grant me strength. Heal money. Money. And the bomb bat contra bus. Oh, hello. Food. Oh, too bad. Mm. That's enough. Yo! Je dis je voulais pas de... C'était super difficile, what the fuck Votre élan vous permet d'appliquer les tailles intoxicité, intoxicité. Si vous êtes trop bas, si votre vie est trop basse, après un combat, elle sera restaurée à 30%. Vous subissez moins de dégâts quand vous avez 40% moins de vie. Ben, C'est là que je suis. C'est là que je suis, mon gars. Ah, je vais pas me battre, mon chat.
think it does. What would it take for you to let me through the locked door down the hall? <laughs> That's a good one. You know I can't let you enter your dad's private chambers anymore since you betrayed his trust and tried to run away from home. Sorry, master's orders. Nothing for me back there anyway. You always said the Olympians wanted nothing to do with our kind. But doesn't Charon work directly with Hermes? Maybe it's you who wants nothing to do with them. I want nothing to do with them, correct. My hasty nephew assists Charon out of necessity alone. Not even Thanatos is able to keep up with the rate at which mortals expire and must then cross our borders. Want me to pitch in? Just give me your blessing and I'll head straight for the surface.
this realm. The surface is a windswept waste. You don't know how good you have it here. You're right, I don't. Hmm. Say, Orpheus, you wouldn't happen to know the nymph Eurydice, would you? Tall, woodsy type. I get the impression maybe you know each other. On est là, mon gars, on chill. On brodit, la sieste est faite. Le fou des cuits. Même si demain, il faut que je fasse un ménage quand même. Parce que je l'ai vu, ta bitch. Responsibility to govern fell to me, yet I could not manage on my own. I shape the darkness, ensure the integrity of the domain. I am less prone to census taking than ministering rules. I receded from such responsibilities. Mm -hmm. That's too much even for you. So when father arrived, you welcomed him. He helped. I was quite skeptical of him at first. I thought his presence merely a cruel trick of fate. But he worked diligently from the start. Soon there was order where once there was none. I fashioned this house for him, and I maintain it still. We remain in partnership, in interdependency. Good. He has never taken advantage of you, of your generosity. No, child, he has not. He can be short with me, as you have seen. But that is the extent of it. We have found ways to reconcile disagreements. Though your relationship with him, it is more complicated than my own. I think. No, you, yes. My father doesn't like reconcile our disagreements all the same. What? I'd ask you join me for the drink, Lada, but I know you have a task ahead of you, and the girdles the census. Fortunately, so under most circumstances, except yours. Some other time, Achilles. Just checking in on you. It's all being made my way again shortly. What do you want from me? Leave me alone. We've nothing to discuss here anymore. God damn. Just checking up on you. Just let me know if you wanted to talk for any reason. I'm not interested in having company, especially from you. You stay the hell away while I'm off duty. Well, because you just fed the match. You must for this. Oh, si proche. You combien de clés? Dix-huit. Infliger plus de dégâts aux ennemis affectés par au moins deux malédictions, 20% par niveau. 
Refus de la mort, je peux l'utiliser encore. Deux refus de la mort. I will get there. Présent sur moi, c'est moins chaud là. Mais bon. Ou d'autres, je vais utiliser les points. On peut te parler, toi. De juste bounce. Ah, ça fait longtemps, lui. Votre ancien fils de dégâts de zone et repousse vos ennemis. Strange. Look what I found. More numbskulls. Good, come on in. Shiny. Pas de power up, juste de currency. It is. Lorsque vous subissez des dégâts, vous infligez à proximité et bénéficiez de renvois. Chaos.
Ja, für Malcolm. Ich habe mit Athena vorher gesprochen. Ich habe nie meinen Go für all das Pomp und Armor, aber ich glaube, sie hat ihre eigenen. Nee, nee. Votre attaque plus puissante inflige des dégâts critiques. Votre lancer traque vos ennemis. Ça, c'est régulier. God damn! Bad run, my guy. Yo, est-ce que je peux avoir un power-up, Seigneur? Yo, juste, juste rien de sérieux. Ouais, ce run là, c'est juste pour récolter du, du, des currency. L'appel qui chante. Ça, ça a l'air pas bien. Never met a girl 
god that breeds like you. Red. Like a worthless mortal. Come on. Let's bleed you dry. Ay, ay, ay. Woo! Bad run, mother. Ils m'ont pas donné d'item du tout là. Non, non, non. C'est un mauvais run. Bad run. the hell good Elle est morte Well father I'm trespassing through your secret hall and going up Not yet Elle est morte Yeah mais je veux reset ce run Come on. Let's be spirit come quit. Let's just die. Jump out run. And shit. Prayed mostly to my mother, lad. I always had my doubts the gods were listening, that they could even hear. Though I suppose that if you make an offering, they might be so inclined, just for the moment anyway. They're helping much. They're helping definitely, sir. How are you finding my old trusty spear then? Mm -hmm. Or perhaps you have a preference for my brother's and my sister's former arms. Kept under lock and key, and yet they're now in your possession, it would seem. The weapons in the courtyard. Of course, you know about them by now. I stole them. Why not just take them from me? I'd be stuck. Nah. The thought had long since crossed my mind. However, I'm not fool enough to tamper with those cursed things. They go where they please. They cannot be contained, like you. Now, why don't you go entertain each other more? I will. Sounds good. It sounds like Father's very cross with you, Orpheus. Won't you consider singing once again? You know his threat of further punishment is not a bluff. Your father can be most persuasive, yes, my friend. However, this time I am putting my foot down. I have no plans to sing for him again. Hmm. Well, then how about for me? Or for your other friends among the court? No. Please. My muse has gone to me. I can do no such thing. Mr. Dumb? 
understand me. I don't. I'm not. Yes. I ran into Thanatos out there. He aided me, although I think he's rather upset that I... Thanatos is worried for you, child. I hope you understand whatever anger you may sense from him is not the feeling at the source. Please forgive his rudeness. Hmm. Well, take care. And I. For 15 clicks, I could have blocked. Allez vous allonger. Oh man, il va avoir du désordre. The heavy sleeping underworld prince arises with the feeling that the brief nap he intended as a respite from the rigors of the day or night apparently was none too brief at all. Oh, I'm late for work. I thought it was going to kill me. Got to work. Responsibility rejecting Zagris strides down his father's hall, quite unconcerned about the urgency with which he is expected to behave under a set of circumstances such as this. Oh shit. Going as fast as I can, you hurry up. The door to the administrative chamber beckons just beyond the hall. The prince perchance believes that he may enter quietly without drawing the notice of those laboring within. Hmm. You better not give me away, old man. Just you hurry in there, lad. Oh, obviously it's us. Sorry. You're late. The day or night's duties are sheer simplicity itself. At least at first. That's when the prince simply signs in to signal the commencement of his shift. Oh God. Get on with your responsibilities. Security reports concerning failed escape attempts from Tartarus require timely verification and official response. Neither of which Prince Zagris is fit to give. Okay. Uh, that oh. is not correct. The often failing prince attempts to sort the ledgers in the fashion necessary for the proper keeping of his father's realm. Damn it. Attendance records of the working shades who toil for the house need to be verified. The shades do compensation, rapidly approved. And yet the prince cannot remember all the necessary steps. <laughs> I haven't forgotten. No one told me. Records of expired house contractor renovations line a desk in the administrative chamber. Though the prince has absolutely no desire now to organize them alphabetically by date. <laughs> None whatsoever, yes. The hard-laboring shades responsible for the administration of the prince's father's realm merely look on at the prince's ill-fated attempts. Oh, come on. Incorrect. A steadily updated ledger of the house's income in the form of brilliant gemstones, diamonds, darkness and the like is merely one among the prince's least liked aspects of his work. I'll do it later. But hmm. a careful record must be kept of all expenses paid within the house. A delicately handled tabulation process, which the prince is ill-equipped to fully undertake. I... Uh... Enough, boy. Wrap it up. God damn. At last, the work-disliking prince records a summary of the results of his attempts to be of any use to the administrative needs of his grim father's house. Okay, I'm done. So, can I go yet, Father? <sighs> Not only were you late again, but then you also failed to perform even the simplest tasks that I had asked repeatedly that you complete. How many chances do you need at this? I'm too lenient with you. Man! Too lenient? 
Instead of lambasting me non-stop, have you considered maybe training me some more to do this fascinating work to your satisfaction? You'll forgive me if I didn't memorize every laborious detail the last time you performed your monologue about how all this works. Excuse me? If I'm not mistaken, you're deflecting your incompetence toward me? As though the Goddess of Wisdom herself has come to aid you in your time of need. I could replace you here and now with any number of simple shades hungry to work here. Then why don't you? I don't want any of this. I'm not the one who drew the short lock with your brothers and got stuck here forever. Why am I having to do this senseless parchment pushing for you? Mm. Why are you stuck? You're not. You're fired. I was wrong to think you were prepared to take on any responsibility at all. And don't you ever invoke your uncles here again. Or I'll have you cast into the lowest pits of Tartarus. Now get out of my administration and my sight. Damn. Uh, at least I can't be late for that job anymore. I can be more. Yeah, more on time. Can you? What's going on, Skelly? Bon, ma deuxième arme préférée c'est laquelle? Qu'est-ce que je débloque? J'aime bien les pieds pour de vrai. Oh, le destin a parlé. Votre technique devient un point magnétique. L'attraction est fiche 20 dégâts. Votre technique attire vos ennemis, puis pendant 6 secondes, vos attaques ainsi que votre lancer leur infligent plus de dégâts. Vous appuyez sur X en fossé pour utiliser l'arme principale. Là. Nya, 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 nya. Lorsque vous infligez 12 coups, votre prochaine technique frappe plusieurs fois. Si! Hoya! Hoya! Ça c'est un quick death. Um... You just protect me. You're no mere weapon, are you? Hmm. Votre charge après charge du taureau, votre prochaine technique lance plusieurs boucliers. Yak. Pendant 3 secondes après votre technique, votre attaque peut infliger des dégâts critiques. 'Lorsque vous absorbez l'explosion de votre technique, vous infligez plus de dégâts. Lorsque vous absorbez l'explosion de votre technique, vous infligez plus de dégâts pendant 4 secondes. Comment absorber cette affaire-là? Absorbe!
<laughs> weak. Weak. C'est super weak ça. This is soft. Qui a jamais pris ça? Foink. Ça devient un point magnétique. You are bound to me and I am your host. Mais la technique, c'est le uppercut. Je l'aime déjà, le uppercut. Que ce soit lui. Dans le bouclier, là, c'est un. Des coups critiques, mon cher, pur dégât. J'avais oublié de checker Katana. Me. Wow. Avec la Huntress là, c'est un build. Est-ce qu'on est, qu est d'accord? Parce qu'elle fait déjà du crit hit. Très simple. Okay. Après ce move, tu brilles, puis pendant 3 secondes, 
T'as 15% de chance de donner du crit hit. Aïe. Right. So après ce move. Hey. Fait que tu veux juste le spam au milieu de ton combo, le move. C'est tout. C'est tout. C'est ça qui te demande. Pour 15% de crit. Spam Y. Ok. Je vais dire ok. Aphrodite au début, c'est pas bon. Elle m'énerve. Mais oui. off the bus. Oh, j'ai vraiment ton disque de batterie. straightforward
Eu já preciso de power. Pela fia, velho. Minibus. shame in your upbringing many of us on olympus we likewise were born and raised under the strangest circumstances someday i'll have to tell you about mine huh well i thought it's a quick movement is that it's passed just now but elan inflige the dégâts and vous permet de renvoyer les attaques vos ennemis vous inflige moins de dégâts votre attaque devient plus puissante Et puis le fonctionnaire renvoie. Ça fait longtemps que j'ai pas eu une fontaine. For free. I mean. Ça c'est de l'argent. Ça oh, c'est de l'argent encore je sélectionne ce, ce sac ça m'amène à Karen parfait I didn't know Tétale. votre technique frappe deux fois mais ne repousse plus je savais pas qu'elle repoussait votre attaque inflige 200% de dégâts lorsque vous frappez par derrière god damn votre stock Inflige 200% de dégâts et 40% de chance d'infliger des dégâts critiques. It will. Parce que le calcul, c'est ça. Soyons smart. On a déjà 15% de chance qu'on fait le Y. On doit faire le Y après frapper 3 fois pour un autre 30% de chance. 40% de sens qui nous amène à 65. 55. 55. Presque obligé d'avoir un crit aid dans cette affaire-là. Exact. C'est ça que je veux dire? Exact. Le calcul est bon. Dionysus for show.
somewhere, getting somewhere, man. I understand you made it up to Asphodel before. Now that is progress. Moga, you keep on going, yeah. Moga, je quitte, je quitte Elysium of the day. Oh, t'as pas dit? Yo, l'épée est nice. Le quit est no frills. C'est comme quand t'achètes euh, choix du président. You know, tu veux juste l'affaire. Tu veux pas la qualité supérieure. Tu veux juste l'affaire. C'est le quit hit, ça. Là, ça, on trouve Artemis deux, trois fois. Ils oseraient pas. Ils oseraient pas. Ils oseraient pas me donner Artemis. Parce qu'elle est build du quit. Fait qu'ils vont pas me la donner. Vos attaques sont toxiques. Votre appel inflige l'intoxicissement. Votre vie augmente lorsque vous ramassez du... Ah ouais, donne-moi ça. C'est comme si je veux pas ton boost. Oh, wow. Crit hit, mon ami. La mathématique est correcte. Crit hit. Est-ce que j'ai de l'argent? Non. On va monter nos health. Comment? For free! Bon, on va tester le crit. On va tester le crit. Oh! Elle, 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 elle c'est la meilleure. Le miroir t'a rendu plus fort. Of course! Tu sais, je suis le fils de Kitch. Ça prend du crit, madame. Je suis désolé. Ça m'a quand même donné du damage là. Yes. Mmh. Faut que je practice ce belt. Il 
garantit le portail du chaos. T'as un boost avec chaque arme. Je comprends. Oh, mon renvoi peut aussi crit. Ben, c'est la fin du monde. Hermès, parle avec moi. <rire> Un élan c'est plus Déplace pour plus Trente pour cent des dégâts subis te, re te sont remis quand tu dash C'est plus de health Technique affaiblie. Mon élan, ça je vais pas le lâcher. L'autre technique affaiblie, je vais le lâcher. Elle me donne les deux. Est-ce que c'est Artemis? Technique renvoie en plus. Vos attaques pouvant effectuer le renvoi. Les attaques que vous renvoyez effectuent plus de dégâts. Madame, c'est pas si important. Ça a l'air, ça a l'air d'une petite tote. Oh, 
Oh Lord Jésus Les ennemis affaiblissent plus, subissent plus de dégâts. Les, les ennemis affaiblissent, subissent plus, mais les ennemis affaiblissent. Alright. Pas de health. Wow, pas de chance, man. On sait qu'on va perdre le run, on va prendre du currency. Finalement, il est too late. C'est pas dead. Yo, Armies fait quelque chose de strange. Attaque est plus puissante, 15% de chance d'infliger des coups critiques. Rendu là, t'as pas le choix. Vos attaques sont plus, plus puissantes et 15% de dégâts de chance. Dégâts de l'attaque, plus 35. Extra blessing. Some health or some money. Some money. Some money.
Hum, plus 100. Carman Shop. Si il peut me vendre du food, ce serait trop bien. C'est pas ça. Pas de food, Caron. Un diamant, oh. Si je pourrais au moins finir ce tableau avec un diamant, je serais bon. C'est qui? Attendez à ça, non? Affaiblissement, c'est pas pire, Amin. Ça m'a gardé là jusque là. J'aime bien le, le DPS de ce grid. D'un meilleur run, je serais tombé sur Artemis plutôt. Je n'ai pas deux. Oh. Oh. Don't much health. Je vais sortir de l'Elysium today, je m'en fous. Elysium. Hum, mmh, des dalles. What you got for me?
Votre technique frappe deux fois. Votre attaque inflige plus de dégâts à hauteur de 5% du total de votre money. 5% de 50. C'est damage de plus, quoi. Votre technique vous projette en avant, vous rend robuste. Parle-moi de ça, bonhomme. Affaiblis-moi tout le monde et c'est. C'est comme je te bouscule, comme si je te, je te dérange, comme si. Oh oh, duo avec qui Duo avec Artemis. Vos coups critiques infligent encore plus de dégâts aux ennemis affaiblis qui sont plus de dégâts affaiblissement. C'est le duo du love alors. Yeah, I still fight. Est-ce que j'ai utilisé mes deux last chains J'ai utilisé mes deux last chains. Ok, on est rendu sur, sur, sur du 600 là. Et ça, c'est du bon. Je, je crois pas que j'ai déjà donné autant d'âme. Aïe Je te fais noël. T'as rien compris. Ton dos, c'est ton dos que tu check. Check ton dos. Toi, t'as pas de dos. Je suis quand même long damage. Ah, oh, fuck chaos, mon gars. J'ai pas, j'ai pas la force, man. Some money. Je die. Je suis étonné que je suis pas encore mort. J'ai peut-être parlé trop vite. Monies. Caron shop, no chance. C'est Thanatos ici?
dare to honor them in life as well as death. Mm. This place is near as gloomy as the house. Where? Go on, stranger. Plenty more shades looking to fight with you out there. C'est des dalles, ça, je suis sûr. I'm just passing through. You seem less warlike than the rest. May I ask your name, sir? I'm Zagri. Names are there to be forgotten, stranger. You shouldn't be here. May the fates favor your journey. But just in case they don't, here, why don't you take this? Pour les 5 prochains combats, vous restaurez 30% de votre vie lorsque vous entrez dans une chambre. Pour les 10 prochains combats, vos attaques font 60% plus de dégâts. My God! Restaurez la totalité de l'utilisation de refuser la mort. Lancer traite les ennemis et 10% de chance d'infliger des dégâts critiques. Lorsque vous infligez des dégâts critiques à un ennemi, un autre ennemi à proximité subit l'état ciblé et chance de coup de critique contre un état ciblé c'est 40% de plus. Et vos dégâts critiques, encore plus de dégâts à des armures. Oui. Prends quelques coups dans le dos. Clé. Non. Je vais voir.
Yo, sir. Thanks, that fell out. Ok, je sais que ce que je vais faire. Mm -hmm. Quand on chop, je ferme le tableau avec les autres items pour juste avoir ce bleu. Artemis. Votre lancer track vos ennemis et coups critiques. Lorsque vous infligez des coups critiques à un autre ennemi, tous les dégâts que vous infligez ont une chance d'être des coups critiques. I don't need to understand. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, I know what I'm doing, don't worry. J'ai compris quelque chose. Si ça nous donne du blood à chaque fois qu'on utilise les items, on va utiliser tous les items sur le sword. Oh ouais, oh. Come on, me again. You know, father, I must say, ransacking your domain beats having to toil endlessly in the administrative chamber. Far less painful, really. Is that your way of asking me for your old job back, boy? You were a scourge upon every administrative duty to which you were assigned. A scourge? Yes, please, father. Give me back my old, wretched job, won't you? Privileges are earned, not begged for, boy. Unless you plan to reimburse this house for all the income that we lost because of you, then you shall not so much as set foot in the administrative chamber again. Hmm. How much is the reimbursement fee, anyway? Whichever exorbitant amount the house contractor has on record, now need me be. <laughs> He's so fool. Ashilo. What's new? Cause the mark Ibris. It's locked. You stay away from there. I'm Dwala, it's not like that. You know, yo, je vais te parler que si je veux. Too bad I can't just kill you where you stand within this blasted house. You can try. Kick your butt. What's new? The nectar comp. Good deal. Here's the fee. Seems like a good deal. Un objet qui déverrouille quelque chose dont vous ne pourriez vous en passer. Vous passer. Privilège administratif. Réautoriser l'accès à la chambre administrative. 
Et ça, c'est bureau spécial. Donner au contre-maître un peu de répit. Pourquoi je voudrais ma old job? Va oh, déniser. Let's go with this one then. You've done so much for us, house contractor. Why don't you do a little something for yourself? If that mess of a table enhances the contractor's productivity, then so be it. On a tout coup de diamant, eh ben thanks. Soif. Ok, c'est le petit boom. Je vois, je sais pas où j'ai trouvé tout ce diamant. I need power. Le refus de la mort. Alors on va stack. Mm, mm, mm. Bon, c'est lequel qui va me donner plus de... C'est le Spear today. Le Spear me donne 20% de plus, fait que... Mais le Spear... Laisse-moi voir. Si je prends un différent aspect, est-ce que ça va me donner... Je crois pas. Parce que ça me montrait celui-là. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. On va essayer le canon, I guess. Là, tu vois, c'est trop bon, là. Votre technique applique le maudit. Votre attaque applique le maudit. Puis le maudit est maudit. J'ai pas détesté cette expérience. Chaos, first level. Ok, ce run se veut être majestueux. Fix that. Pendant trois prochains combats, les pièges vous infligent plus de dégâts. Ensuite, vous avez plus de vie. Pendant les quatre prochains combats, les ennemis lancent leurs bombes. Ou pendant les quatre prochains combats, votre élan est une vieille portée. Ensuite, vous infligez plus de dégâts par derrière. On va prendre les pièges. Ensuite, on va prendre. On va écouter le narrateur.
C'est très... Euh, Touche-moi pas, genre. C'est vrai que ça applique le maudit. Vos attaques transpercent vos ennemis et infligent plus de dégâts aux armures. Vos attaques est plus rapide et plus précise. Et plus de munitions. Vos attaques rebondissent sur un ennemi une fois. Plus de munitions, mon chat. My, 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 my. My, 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 my. Not bad. Ça applique le maudit. J'ai besoin de quelque chose qui booste mes attaques là. Restore 10% lorsque tu rentres dans la chambre, par derrière, et les attaques font plus de damage. Ah, uh, quick hit. Je sais pas. Pas chaud là. Bon, faudrait que j'arrête de manquer le. Voilà. Putain. Ben ça non est là. Pourquoi ça visait là-bas Pas bon main. Well, look at you with Exegriff, the rail of adamant. 
Seems much too noisy complicated as a hunting weapon when you could just use a nice quiet bow, but hey, to each her own. Je crois pas que ça existe ce weapon. Je un boss là, juste pour voir le blood. Idiots. Fill the crit hit. Technique applique le maudit. Attaque est plus puissante. Non, plus de maudit. 40 shot. Il faut que ce soit mec. Oh. C'est moi qu'elle appelle trash? Don't 
you ever compare yourself to me again, you trash. You want more pain? I'm happy to oblige. I feel my trash on call. Je sens pas que j'applique le maudit. Papier, papier. I'm boosted. What's the latest, hon? Anything been happening down in your fancy house lately? Nah. Well, you mentioned Orpheus. My father had him locked up for a little while for refusing to sing, being a court musician and all. But he's out now and doing okay, I think. Not following instructions, huh? Sounds like Orpheus, all right. Well, if that's the most exciting thing you've got going on, then I haven't missed much being out here. Nope. Take it easy.
higher on the time, you'll get faster and faster. That was fast with me, mind. <laughs> Not yet. Héroïque, vos attaques appliquent le mode Z. Tout applique le mode Z. Lorsque vous subissez des dégâts, vous appliquez aussi le mode Z. Les effets du mode Z. <rire> Infligent plus de dégâts. Ah, le run n'est pas bon. Yo, ow, oh, oh. Laisse-moi aller manger. Donnez-moi un instant, monsieur. Je vais une petite vidéo en attendant là, n'est-ce pas? Un instant, on va aller manger, mon cher. Oh, ça a l'air. Ok. Pas de problème. Let's make it to the tip. What's up, y'all? Shuffle. And today's video is gonna be the follow-up to the one common mistake video that I made the other day. This one is one tip for each hero. As always, before we get started, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, leave your thoughts down below, and then check out the description box for all the cool stuff like Discord, Twitter, Twitch, and Patreon. Lots of fun stuff to behold for yourself, so give it a look if you haven't already. We also have to give a shout out to Thick Baney Sausage, who helped me put this video together. I ran the ideas past him, and then he had his own input on the tips that we were going to offer, so shout outs where shout outs are due. Of course, if you've not checked out Thick, you should do that as well. We'll start the alphabetical way this time, and the first tip with Abomination is to just leave him in human mode as long as possible. The reason is he does pretty well in his human mode normally, and then you should be treating Transform as an on-demand damage button. It gives Abom a bit of healing, and then also gives him a ton of damage on top of it, so if you find yourself in a position where you have to do a lot of damage quickly, that's when you hit Transform. It's pretty hard to build a team around Transforming normally, and usually it is not advised. For Antiquarian, make sure you don't sleep on Flash Powder. Flash Powder is a very good move. It is fantastic at shutting down a single huge threat, such as a large enemy or some kind of high damage dealer. So all you have to do is hit them with Flash Powder once or twice, and then your team is pretty safe for the most part. They have a pretty good chance of missing you. And that alone is good enough contribution to the fight from Antiquarian side, who usually doesn't have good combat prowess. For Arbalest, it's kind of a combo tip. So the first part of it is don't sleep on Suppressing Fire. And the second one is to know when to shoot instead of using Suppressing Fire. Many enemies are very squishy in the backline, so you don't have to mark them to take them down. You can just shoot them once and have someone else hit them, or shoot them twice if you really need to. And then also there are enemies that you can push to the back, like size 2s, or just some enemies that aren't cult to switch. You know, for instance, the Spitting Pig in the Warren. That thing is pretty annoying, and it can hit you with the disease. It has a pretty solid crit rate as well. Or sometimes the Hook Pigs also find their way to the back of the party. So suppressing fire is really good in those situations because the crit debuff from it is so big that most enemies cannot crit you once it's applied and the accuracy drop is also pretty good. 
The tip for Bounty Hunter is a team building type of tip, and that is do not be afraid to put him in rank 3. That's the backline of your party. This gets even better if you can run a second character with a stun like Houndmaster in front of Bounty Hunter, even though your first instinct is likely to put Bounty Hunter in 2 and Houndmaster in 3. These two already have a lot of synergy, but the thing that Thick said that made a lot of sense is don't mistake Bounty Hunter having two stuns as being as strong as someone or a team that has two stunners. So having Houndmaster in 2 gives him Blackjack, and then having Bounty Hunter in 3 gives you Flashbang. That is a lot more controlled, especially when paired up with a combo like Plague Doctor and Flagellant. This way you can have the entire enemy team locked down and taking a bunch of damage over time, for instance. My Crusader tip is make sure to take advantage of the fact that Crusader can heal from anywhere. He can heal both HP and stress damage. It's not as strong at Apprentice level, but once he gets to Veteran and Champion stuff and he gets his Trinkets, he gets very good at doing this. And it's a nice answer to people who think they need to take Jester and Vestal to every single team, because Crusader can do both. He can also do it from everywhere, which the aforementioned two characters cannot. They are locked into the backline in order to heal. The tip for Flagellant is that he is one of the best heroes to skill swap on mid-dungeon. He's a character where you may not need Endure or Suffer for the first three fights, but the three fights right before you camp, when everyone's taking a bit of extra damage, and one person may be up to like 60 stress, He's really good at evening that out, especially because he can camp and heal a bunch of his stress with one skill. My tip for Grave Robber is probably one most of you have heard before because I say it pretty constantly in my streams and some other videos, but you do not need a full dance team to use Grave Robber. You can run her as a dedicated range build if you really wanted to, but if you also want to run Lunge, which I would suggest, all you need is a team that can function in position A and position B. So that means that your middle two people, once they get pushed behind her from Lunge, they can still do everything they want. And at the same time, they should be able to do everything they want before she lunges when they're in the middle ranks. This is personally why I feel Abomination is Grave Robber's best partner, because he can still blight and stun from both rank 2 and rank 3. For Hellion, the most efficient way to do her damage is to start from the back of the enemy party and work your way up to the front. So I usually advise starting with Iron Swan, and then if it bleeds on rank 4 and 3, and then afterwards, either if it bleeds on rank 2, or start hitting bleed out depending on the enemies remaining. The reason for this is, even though bleed out is very strong in terms of its damage output, it does lower her damage on her other skills as well. So if you're using bleed out on turn 1, or spamming yop, or using breakthrough, Hellion is going to gas out before the backline is dead, and the backline is the one doing the lasting damage via stress. However, this doesn't mean that opening with yop is always a bad thing. It's a bit of a nuanced thing, so I guess wait for the Hellion guide to talk about that further. My Highwayman tip is that as good as Repose can be, don't sleep on Pistol Shot. So you should be starting Highwayman in the back of your party, so either rank 4 or 3. This way he gets an extra duelist advance over the course of the fight, so his Repose stays up for longer. Most fights are over by turn 4, you probably heard me say that before. So having Highwayman have Repose up for pretty much the entire time is pretty nice. However, the other half of that is that it leaves him open to use Pistol Shot, which is a great way to clean up backline enemies with someone that has some pretty decent damage. You also shouldn't be sleeping on Gunslinger Buckle because it boosts that same pistol shot that we were just talking about. For Houndmaster, consider starting him in rank 2 because of Blackjack. He is a bit squishy, but he has access to a lot of dodge, either through guard and trinkets, and Blackjack is a very good stun. So much so that rank 2 is probably his strongest spot on the team. If you find yourself needing Cry Havoc at some point during the expedition, then feel free to move him back to rank 2 and put whoever's in the back in front of him because your team probably still operates that way. Another solution is to have someone behind him like Highwayman who can use Duelist Advance or Man at Arms who can use Rampart to move past him for no tempo loss at all. With Jester, you probably want to use Finale at some point just because it's a cool move that does a bunch of damage and it's really fun and it's a good button to press, but you may find yourself having trouble with the timing. The easiest rule of thumb for Finale pacing that I can give you is if you're not in a boss battle, so if it's a regular hallway fight or room fight, you can probably drop Finale on turn 3 or 4 and that's the best time for it. If you're in a boss battle, since the buffs to Finale last so long on Jester's moves, you can drop it on turn 8, and that's probably the end of the fight. For Leper, don't sleep on Intimidate. This move covers a lot of options, such as lowering enemy damage, but it also de-stealths enemies, marks Leper, and then alters the speed as well. Leper himself gets a speed boost for using it, and the enemy, if the debuff sticks, loses speed. Because of this, it's probably the best anti-stealth move in the game, because the main issue with de-stealthing enemies is they're usually faster or fast enough that when you de-stealth them, it doesn't really matter because you're not going to get to hit them. But if you're able to lower their speed with Intimidate, then you can actually bully them on turn 2, which is something other stealth moves can't do. With Man in Arms, Bellow is a great opening skill. The speed debuff from the ability means that your team is most likely going first across the board on turn 2. 
By being able to go first on turn two, you have much more control of the fight, so you can pick which targets to take down, which other ones to stun, and other things that you may need to be doing, such as healing. It does have to make two checks to stick to enemies, but universally debuff resist on enemies is usually one of the lower ones that they have. It's also helpful to use in the early game because lacking accuracy trinkets and unupgraded skills is something everyone struggles with. The tip for cultists is to remember that he can fit into a lot of teams pretty easily. When you're making a team with a cultist in it, you have to decide what you want him to do and then build your team according to that. Do you want him to stun? Do you want him to do a bunch of debuffs? Do you want him to kill eldritch enemies? All of these are questions you need to ask yourself when you're picking a cultist. But if you go through this exercise consistently, you're going to notice that a cultist feels pretty good and like I said before, fits into a variety of teams. The Plague Doctor tip is a pretty simple one and that is just get her some speed, either through a trinket or through some kind of quirk. If Plague Doctor has about 2 or 4 extra speed depending on quirks and trinkets and all that, she will feel like a much different and better hey, character voila. because she's consistently going first oh my. and locking down enemy she back lines. This also helps her damage game plan because she wants to go early in the round to stick her damage over time effects to people who have not gone yet in order to get... Let's get new scene. Everybody knows. Everybody fucking knows. Yes, it happened. I got smacked like a year, year ago. Fucking last week, I got smacked in the fucking Oscars by this motherfucker. And people like, did it hurt? It still hurts. <laughs> I got summertime ringing in my ear. <laughs> Fucking drums, please. But I'm not a victim, baby. You will never see me on Oprah or Gail crying. You will never see it. Never gonna happen. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. And I love men in black. No. It's never gonna happen. No. Fuck that shit. I took that hit like Pacquiao, motherfucker. <laughs> I took it like motherfucking Pacquiao, okay? Shit, man. Did it hurt? Yeah, motherfucking hurt. And people are like, well, you guys are fighting all the time. We're not fighting. First of all, I know you can't tell on camera, Will Smith is significantly bigger than me. <laughs> we are not the same size, okay? We are not. It's got this guy, Will Smith does movies with his shirt off. You've never seen me do a movie with my shirt off. <laughs> if I'm in a movie getting open heart surgery, I got on a sweater. <laughs> Will Smith played Muhammad Ali in a movie. You think I auditioned for that part? <laughs> he played Muhammad Ali. I played Pookie in New Jack City. <laughs> Motherfucker, I played a piece of corn in Pootie Tang. <laughs> Shit, even in animation, this motherfucker's bigger. I'm a zebra, he's a shark. <laughs> what the fuck, man? But, but, Will Smith practices selective outrage. <laughs> practices selective outrage. Outrage, because everybody knows what the fuck happened. Everybody that really knows, knows I had nothing to do with that shit. I didn't have any entanglements. I did. I did not have any entanglement. And then for people that don't know what everybody knows, Will and his wife was fucking her son's friend, okay? Now, I normally would not talk about this shit. But for some reason, these niggas put that shit on the internet. I have no idea why two talented people would do something that fucking low down. What the fuck? It, we all been cheated on. Everybody in here been cheated on. 
none of us have ever been interviewed by the person that cheated on us on television. None of us. It's like, hey, I was sucking somebody else's dick. How did that make you feel? Why the fuck would you do that shit? She hurt him way more than he hurt me, okay? Okay? And by the way, he does that shit. Everybody in the world called him a bitch. I tried to call the motherfucker and give him my condolences. He ain't pick up for me. Everybody called that man a bitch. Fucking Charlemagne called him a bitch, and the Breakfast Club called him a bitch, and the View, and the Talk, and every rapper, and, and fucking the Drink Champs called him a fucking bitch. Everybody called him a bitch. They called his wife a predator. Everybody called him a bitch. Everybody. Everybody. And who's he hit? Me. A nigga he know he can beat. That is some bitch ass shit. That's what the fuck happened, okay? The fuck out of here, man. The fuck? What the fuck? I do nothing to this motherfucker, okay? His, whatever. Years ago, his wife said, I, I should quit the Oscars. I shouldn't host. Because her man didn't get nominated for emancipation. The biggest piece of shit ever. Okay? And then so the nigga gives me a fucking, a, a fucking concussion. No, not emancipation. I fucked up the joke. Concussion. She fucking said he should quit. Because Will didn't get nominated for concussion. What the fuck? What the fuck? So then I do some jokes about it. Who gives a fuck? That's how it is. She starts it. I finish it. Okay? That's what the fuck happened. Nobody's picking on this bitch. She started this shit. Nobody was picking on her. Nobody was picking on her. She said, a me, a fucking grown ass man should quit his job because her husband did get nominated for concussion. What does it feel like to be shot? Does it, is it a physical feeling? Yeah, it doesn't hurt as much as people Imagine it hurts because of your adrenaline and how the shock of what's actually going on, it hurts after. Where were you shot? Which part of the body? Where did the bullet um, I got shot in my hand. My thumb came out of my hand. My face. A lot of too. Wow. Oh, my goodness. There's a hole there. Yeah, it kind of changed my voice, too. And this is the voice that sells 8 million records, so I think everything happens for a reason. The guy who actually shot me is dead. And the guy who paid him and got life in jail. Got life in jail. Yeah. On May 24, 2000, the up-and-coming rapper 50 Cent, who had made a name for himself in the streets of New York, was shot nine times in front of his grandmother's home in South Jamaica, Queens. It all happened when 50 jumped in the car of his friend. His son was in the house, and his grandmother was in the front yard. 50 was sitting in the back seat and handed over some jewelry to the driver. That's when the assailant got around the car and fired nine shots at close range with a 9mm handgun. Cause you don't know whether you're gonna get up out this or not, man. You know what I'm saying? And then you in the rearview mirror looking at you, you got a hole in your face. You don't know if you're gonna hit that bullet, it's, it's gonna kill you. Nigga was a professional leg shooter. It was like bang, 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 bang. On your legs, you can't kill a nigga like that. 50 was hit in the hand, arm, hip, legs, chest, and left cheek, which resulted in a swollen tongue the loss of a wisdom tooth and a slightly slurred voice. He was then driven to a hospital nearby, where he spent 13 days. The assailant Daryl Harmobaum was killed three weeks after the shooting. Now it's clear that I'm here for a real reason, cause he got hit like I got hit, but he ain't breathing. There were multiple reasons for the shooting, which I will touch on in this video. Most importantly, the song Ghetto Quran, the beef with Ja Rule, and 50's disrespect towards a man named Kenneth Supreme McGriff, who was the man who put out the hits, and the main leader of the Supreme Team, which was a large crack-dealing organization that operated throughout the 80s in New York. 
The headquarters was in Baisley Park, South Jamaica, Queens, and they consisted of around 150 to 200 members, most known for drug trafficking, armed robbery, murder and money laundering. It was originally formed by a group of teenagers that were part of the 5% nation, also referred to as the Nation of Gods and Earth, which is a black nationalist movement influenced by Islam, that was founded in 1964 in Harlem by a man who called himself Allah the Father, who had left the Nation of Islam and was previously known as Clarence 13X. In contrast to traditional Islam, Gambling, drinking and criminal activities are allowed under the 5% philosophy called mathematics. Supreme actually got his name from the first two lessons taught by the nation of gods and earths. Supreme mathematics and supreme alphabet, which they also used as a coded language and numerical system for communication. At its peak, the supreme team receipts exceeded $200,000 a day and the gang regularly committed acts of violence and murder to maintain its stranglehold on the area's drug trade. They were feared and idolized in its Queens neighborhoods. To many growing up in these impoverished areas, the drug dealers represented the only tangible forms of success to which they had direct access. Premed formed this organization in 1981 and was arrested in 1987, following a joint state and federal investigation. Two years later, he pleaded guilty to engaging in a continuing criminal enterprise, sentenced to 12 years incarceration, of which he only served seven. So he was released on payroll in 1994, but all the money he made from drug trafficking was confiscated. He had done a lot of thinking during his time in prison. Over a hundred members of the Supreme Team had been arrested and sent to jail at this point, including his right-hand man Prince was sentenced to six concurrent life sentences plus 20 years in 1993 for drug trafficking. Sitting alone in his cold jail cell, Supreme realized that the drug game is a dead end. He then had a vision of something different. He wanted to go legit and start making money legally by getting into the entertainment industry. His life changed when he became part of the label Murder Inc., which later on became 50's biggest enemy. Supreme first met Ja Rule and his boss Earth Gotti at the video shoot for the song Get the Fortune, back when Ja was still a part of the group Cash Money Click, and still tried to hit the mainstream. Earth Gotti and Ja idolized the Supreme team, which had a legendary status in Queens through everything they had accomplished in the 80s, and Supreme was doing everything necessary to become a legit businessman, so he quickly became part of the murdering family. They had a symbiotic relationship. Supreme was now getting paid, and in return he had Irv and Ja under his wing. Gave them protection, safety, solved their problems and scared off the gangsters and street cats, while giving Ja and Irv street cred, cause nobody wanted to mess with the Supreme team. So they became close business partners. Murder Inc's offices were raided by the FBI in early 2003, and Prem faced accusations of drug trafficking and money laundering run by the Guardies. So they were doing all types of businesses together. In 1999, Ja was robbed for his chain at gunpoint by a guy named Troy, who accused Ja of sleeping with his girlfriend while he was in jail. Troy ran away with the chain and Ja called Supreme for help, who then promised to handle it. He ordered the man named Brown to get his chain back, and he did, within just 15 to 30 minutes. Supreme calls me back, 15, 20 minutes later, he's like, yeah, I got you. He's over here right now with me, you know what I'm saying? I got you, I just... He just came back on the block. I took your chain from him. I got your chain. But, and that was that. Ja then shot a music video for the song Murder for Life on Jamaica Avenue. And 50 decided to pay him a visit and say what's up, as they're from the same neighborhood. Supreme was there too, along with all the other murdering associates and everybody from the hood. They were all showing Ja Rule love while 50 was there by himself, almost like an outsider or someone who just passed by. Ja and Black Child from Murder Inc. said what's up to him and walked away. The same day they went to a party at Club Amazura and the two met again. But this time 50 had Troy with him, the guy who robbed Ja Rule for his chain. Wow. Ooh. My God. Oh, wow. Qu'est-ce que je viens de manger faisait pas de sens. <rire> yeah. Oh, c'était Guillaume. 
Be leaving shortly. Load it up. is set. Always hits the spot.
good back home. Imagine c'est avec cette arme là que j'arrive à finir Elysium. Légendaire, t'as dit. En fait, non. Moi donc là. Ok, il me donne tout pour pas que je finisse ce run. Et moi, c'est tout ce que j'essaie de faire. Subis par votre technique se déplace plus lentement et subit plus de dégâts. Votre technique inflige plus de dégâts dans une zone élargie, mais elle peut également vous blesser. Darold.
yourself a gift from old Poseidon there. He's quite the catch, but here, hope you save some room for more. Uh. I can do this. No, you can't. Technique un peu rapide. Ah oui. Oh, c'est Kiki. Oh my god. Barely got through. Je ne plus jamais prendre ce weapon. Like 
for you, brother. Uh. You've done it now, Hypnos. I got acquainted with the twin fists of Malfon recently, sir. Fills me with a kind of battle hunger I'd not felt before. To think the empty hand could have as much destructive force as any weapon. The empty hand has more destructive force than any weapon, Matt. It is the only weapon that can wield all others. And without it, all others are nearly powerless. The twin fists are a testament to that. Use them with care. Don't lose your head out there. It's a fit. Child, I sense the growing darkness in you, child. I am so very proud of you. You always have been capable, yet now you seem to radiate with newfound power. Huh. I'm getting somewhere, I guess. Qu'est-ce qu'on vend aujourd'hui? Got anything good? He's diamond for ten. Avec lui, je vais faire plus de points. But il faut deux points pour l'augmenter de un niveau. God damn, ma! Je suis sûr que je peux battre la, la première avec ça. Je l'ai déjà fait, je suis sûr. C'est avec lui que je l'ai jamais fait. Je n'ai jamais battu le premier boss avec l'arc. Battre le premier boss avec l'arc va me permettre de monter cette affaire-là au niveau 2. Pour être à 19. Stupid shit. There we go. Looks like this beast is getting started still, am I not right about that? It's like, come on. But attack and toxic. simple Votre technique tire 4 flèches supplémentaires. Votre technique inflige 3 points de dégâts de base pour chaque projectile. Votre attaque inflige plus de dégâts aux ennemis éloignés. Qu'est-ce qu'on considère comme éloigné Je vois. Merci de l'indiquer. Je.
c'est bien ouais que c'est temps. C'est slow. Quick. Vos effets électriques après applique l'effet choqué. C'était pas le boss donc. Mauvais damage, on va pas like. Dionysus again. Kazu. Tu vois, j'essaie d'attaquer mon propre projectile. Ok, 
can one shot or pomegranate. Lange afrikje 5, wat AP transform, maar 5 transform. En 5 transform, en we niet af. En dan zo is het zeer refuel, maar ook zijn fysiek te zien. You sleep in it. Oh, I'm shattered when I pick this up. Well, father, it's too much. Copy part. You said the run. Le dernier run après on change de jeu. Et ça c'est le vrai run. On est rendu là. Ok, j'ai tout ce qu'il faut. Hein. On fait le vrai run. You have been keeping our contractor rather busy, I must say. Commissioning these frivolous projects around the house with the wealth you wrest from my domain. What are you hoping to achieve? Escaping. Oh, you know, just giving back to the community. Figure if I'm to keep getting dragged back here, it might as well be somewhat livable. Livable. When last I checked, making the underworld livable was not among our top priorities. Just remember, in your brazenness, whose house this is. 
well aware, thanks. I found another weapon waiting for me in the courtyard, Achilles. Exegrip. Never entirely believed it was real. Between us, lad, I wish it wasn't. Was such a thing available to my enemies during my fighting days? I surely would have come here even sooner. But I trust you have the training to use it well. May it serve you as it served the fire goddess Hestia. She hasn't needed it in a while. I'll use it to the best of my ability, sir. I'll never use it again. You must have vanquished Megara, my child. It's been a while. Been the lounge for quite some time. You are safe here from her whip, but not her words. I better talk to her. Thank you for the heads up, Nix. I already did. Let's go. 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 technique dont vous plusieurs boucliers fort that c'est quoi l'autre votre technique devient un disque foudroyant et on peut continuer à utiliser notre attaque même quand notre bouclier est en vol ça s'appelle l'aspect de Zeus Aïe aïe aïe, qu'est-ce qu'on fait? Qu'est-ce qu'on fait? Est-ce qu'on aspect de Zeus ou bien on augmente l'autre? Votre technique inflige des dégâts en continu et revient sur commande. Allez voir. as well this is almost becoming a this is basically becoming a meme run at this point uh, I'm gonna grab a palm into deadly strike this is a bad showcase apparently yeah this is going this is going very weirdly this is this is for a showcase this is not this is going very strangely but I guess that is kind of like that is actually kind of in a way a good showcase because Zeus shield is very weird and is it's weird the Rizzo shield is weird. Looks weird to me. This is a chaos shield. I'll go to the Why you gotta just distract me like this, Francis? How we doing, friends? Welcome, welcome. How you been? Thank you for the 10 gifties. Had his best, right? Hope you've been good. So many kind folks lately. Fix that shoot. Still sticking with me. Okay. My decision is prise, alors. Mm -hmm. I should take my spear. I'm going to kill Awakened. Hey, well, what? 
Come to back. Come to back. Okay. Okay. Le run pour dominer tout le run. Let's go. Qu'est-ce qu'on a besoin? On a besoin de quoi? On a besoin de quoi? Faut faire notre gosse sur liste tout de suite. Artemis. C'est le Artemis build. 100% crate. C'est ça qu'on a besoin. Allons-y. Poseidon, tu donnes quoi? Little Hades, have I ever told you I detest the dead? Well, I admit it. I just cannot stand a mortal path to do. So how about we get you far away from all such filth? Agreed? Filth. Ça, c'est toujours bon. Notre élan, c'est safe. L'argent, tu sais, c'est comme, c'est pas des power up là. Une clé, ah, oh, c'est pas sérieux, man. Okay, not power to do those right. Cherchez, madame. Ah oui, votre attaque est plus puissante et 15% de chance. Votre lancer traque vos ennemis. On n'a pas besoin de lire le reste de définition. Hmm. 
survives. Wretches, take him now. I get the feeling I am being watched. One shot for the hell, Thoma. Kieran's shot. That's better. Technique of the Moses. Votre coup de stock inflige 200% 200 dégâts. Hmm. Votre technique frappe deux fois. Maintenez enfoncé votre bouton d'attaque pour frapper en continu. J'ai plus de stock. Où est mon stock? J'espère que mon stock est encore là. S'il y a plus de stock, merde! J'ai blow le build. Où le deuxième coup est devenu un cuit? Soon, Bone Hydra. 
Cause it's a big damage still. La technique un peu rapide. Chance d'esquiver automatiquement. Murder. avec moi I've blown a bill. Les ennemis à proximité de au sol sont frappés. Oh ouais. Thanks family. You must have a lot of stops around these parts, don't you, Carol mate? Most of the dead are here in Asphodel, correct? I'll just have a look around. Aris. Aries. Hmm. 
Le move est bon, mais il va pas avec mon build, c'est dommage. Là, bien sûr, ils vont toujours me donner du heal quand je suis plus down. Plus 23. Oh, dommage. No urns permitted in this chamber. You touch me, and I shall have your head. <laughs> Easy, easy, easy. Go to sleep. Oh. Attaque plus puissant coup critique.
my god. No chaos. Here on shot. Aries. Shit. Okay, whatever. Should help keep me going. Come stronger still. They're done. Vos attaques et plus 300% de dégâts aux armées en fait technique on projette de l'avant votre attaque restaure 2 du coup Run bien changé. Tu heal deux du coup. What? Non. Lorsque vous infligez des dégâts critiques à notre ennemi, les coups critiques infligent plus de dégâts. Les ennemis subissent des dégâts lorsque vous se déloge. Ah ouais. Bof. Tout à coup, ça vient, ça vient de changer. Oh, tu heal. Oh, pas lui. Dead ici serait pas écrit avec un E. Faut tuer avant lui. Que tu triches, mon ami. Appeler la foudre en continu. 
Yes. Ah, c'était caché ça. Still friends. Farewell. And how many dice I take? Wow! Dans ma quelque chose de bon, le coup critique inflige plus des dégâts aux armures. Ok. Gentlemen. Gentlemen.
C'est ça, je comprends pas. Ah, oh. là je veux partir, mais je veux pas partir. Attends, attends, minute. C'est parce que j'ai blow mon build. Là, j'ai essayé mon build pour de vrai. Ok. D'ailleurs, prends ce cadeau. Je peux pas. Nix, this may be an odd question, but do you know what the fates may have in store for me? They are your daughters, right? The three fates are my daughters, yes, my child. However, I am no more privy to their workings than the naive mortals living up above. Not even the Olympians can know the weavings of the fates. Well, that's too bad. Oh. Oh. Ta <laughs> Oh. Ok. Après 3 secondes, pendant 3 secondes après votre technique, votre attaque peut infliger des dégâts critiques. Chance de dégâts critiques, 20%. Assaut frappe deux fois. Votre attaque. On va essayer de prendre ça puis de garder du coq.
Pad item. Critical hit. Okay, silly run. Silly, silly. Stirrer, stirrer. No. Oh, je suis presque sûr que c'est vrai. Votre technique est plus puissante et 20% de chance d'affliger des dégâts critiques. Et à 20% de chance. Votre lancer track aux ennemis. Et à 10% de chance d'affliger des coups critiques. Votre assaut inflige plus de dégâts en général. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. Votre attaque est plus puissante et effectue un renvoi. Votre élan effectue des dégâts et vous permet de renvoyer les attaques. aller pour du maximum DPS. Bruiser build, bruiser build, bruiser build. L'argent, 10% de notre coffre devient du DPS. 5%. Du bon damage cette. Yeah, she did. No, you don't. Yeah, you do. You shouldn't have crossed me. My God.
On veut pas spin. ça ok qu'est ce que je veux dire c'est qu'on veut se peine le moins possible à guess encore <rire> je déroge à la tous parce que je tue plus que lui. C'est tellement bien dit. Ils l'ont sauté, ils l'ont sauté, ils l'ont sauté. Fait que je vais prendre sa place en fait. Ouais, je suis devenu fort mon cher. Qu'est-ce qui se passe en fait? Excellent. 400. 5% des 400, c'est quoi? C'est assez damage là, madame. Enlever trop de pièces là, madame. Get out. Mine. Let's keep going. 
Assez bon. Donnez-moi du bon. Hermes. Plus d'argent qu'on rentre dans une chambre. Quand on s'élance, on devient robuste et on se déplace plus vite. Ça se déloge plus rapidement. Plus de money. Je, je prendrais bien un Poseidon Power. Un petit poussade. Ça, mais j'ai perdu de l'argent, non? J'ai acheté quelque chose, moi? Ah oh ouais, les deux, ça me dérange pas. Je veux juste pas me battre contre elle. Tous les ennemis affaiblis subissent plus de dégâts, c'est assez. Mais c'est pas comme si j'avais le choix. Yeah, man. Les attaques appliquent le renvoi. Heal up. C'est tout. 
Current Shop. On va juste passer pour voir. Nothing for free. Oh, come on. plus être étourdi et subissez moins de dégâts de la part des boss. Je sais.
Ouais, c'est 28 HP. Consistently, on se rend là consistently. Soixante en moins. Double technique. Allons-y avec ça. Hermès. Of this mind. Vous avez une chance d'esquiver votre lancer. Maintenez votre bouton lancé pour tirer plusieurs fois. Votre attaque est plus rapide. Je, je pourrais prendre un burger là. Les pièges me font mettre des gars. Vous devez rester invulnérable plus longtemps quand vous utilisez le refus de mort. Votre refus de mort restaure plus d'habitude. Résistance au piège alors. J'avais un curse de chaos, c'est vrai. Quit hit, please.
until we meet again. Well fought, Asterius. Over there. Oh, the view is far away. Tous les dégâts que vous infligez ont une chance de devenir critiques. Vos lancers traquent vos ennemis. perdu beaucoup de vie là Shit. Oh, bien vagues, sí. Ah, the 
the fiend comes crawling back once more, drawn as he is, much like the unassuming mob onto the flame of righteousness. Oh no, not the flame of righteousness. Are you finished? Let's get this started. I've come a long way. Hear that, Asterius? Our fiendish visitor is begging us for mercy. Begging us, no doubt, to drop our guard. Together now, my friend, let's vanquish him and may the glory of Olympus guide us. Let's go pursue it first. I'm trying. You're broken. Ha ha, c'est brisé. Bon, bravo, beau. T'as gagné aujourd'hui. Le beau a gagné. Yeah, I feel so lucky, bro. Mm -hmm. I see a last spell. Comment on fait pour commencer une nouvelle game Welcome to Oracle Lump Commander. What the? 
way it was full it will get us caught the fuck is this place are you deaf beyond dead yo what are you Taler evil. Heroes have sank health. Do I have souls? I have two hundred. Spend essence. Oh, my. Some women stop remain unusing even even though they could help us. Pendant qu'il se perd, moi je dois le protéger. Il va venir de là. Yo, on va jouer à ça après avoir joué à Darkest Dungeon. Mais il faut un ordre de priorité. Darkest, c'est. C'est à finir avant ça, mon cher. Il y a les deux qui va sortir là. Fait ready. You remember our venerable house. Opulent and imperial. I remember, I remember. Bon, moi je pars commencer du début.
Bon. Brigands have run up these lanes. Keep to the side path. The hamlet is just ahead. Don't stress, my friend. An ambush. Send these vermin a message. The rightful owner has returned, and their kind is no longer welcome. Obliterated. This expedition at least promises success. Maybe. Leave nothing unchecked. There is much to be found in forgotten places. Dispatch oh. this thug in brutal fashion that all may hear of your arrival. Oh, he doesn't shoot first. Oh, well, please. Wow. Monstrous size has no intrinsic merit, unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. Oh my lord! Seven, no, Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Deux affaires pas bon chez ça là. Oh, oh. Wow. Quel début. Welcome home, such as it is. This squalid hamlet, these corrupted lands. They are yours now. And you are bound to them. Women and men, soldiers and outlaws, fools and corpses. All will find their way to us now that the road is clear. Most will end up here, covered in the poisoned earth, awaiting merciful oblivion. Trinkets and charms gathered from all the forgotten corners of the earth. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. A mecca of madness and morbidity. Your work begins. The cost of preparedness, measured now in gold, later in blood.
Nice. With impunity, <laughs> Miss Creatures can be felled, they can be beaten. Yes, of course. Ah, I'm just going to give up. 